Next, Peddler Market. Haven't been to this one either. Hi, it's Lori from Dakota Relics. Come join me as I travel around the area, searching for treasures that I can buy and then flip for a profit. You'll never know what I find unless you follow me. Come on, let's get shopping. Well, this place does have a lot of sales. I might have to start um, using my phone because I'm just about out of battery in my camera. Well, we've got uh, toys, which I'm not too interested in. Okay, booth five. I'm actually going to try to just hit the booths with like the sale prices on it. Why not? Even though some cute little knickknacks. This is a pretty four dollars. Why would that be four dollars? What the heck? I don't really see any. Yep, I'm getting this. <laughs> or is that a... I don't think it is a chip. Okay, this booth is 25% off in June, and we still are in June. And they've got some cute things there. That, look at that red thing. He's $12. I don't even know what he is. <laughs> um, but I see this mid-century modern plastic salad bowl set for $12. And I do believe I'm going to pick that up. It would be less than $12. Another booth I like. Check for markdowns. What is... Oh, it's a pipe stand with a little deer. That's cute. And this is a very old barometer weather station. I wonder what that's how much that is. Thirty dollars. A storm guide. Wow, I've never seen one like that. The 30 bucks is a little steep, but it looks like from the 30s. I'm looking for markdowns. I really am. What's this? No idea. Vintage Danish sundial. I'll be darned. There are a lot of neat things in here. I wish like everything was, ooh, look at that. I like that. Some really nice things. No longer have a battery, but I wanted to show you guys these little sewing dolls. They're ceramic. I truly haven't seen these before. They're cute. Um, anywhere between $20 and, and $40. And nothing else. Oh, and these, remember the smokers that I found before? Put the ashtray in and then like the cigarette smoke comes or the cigar smoke comes out of their nose or ears. Those two are all right around that $25 to $40 range. So guys, I've seen this more than once now. It's actually a Keurig coffee cup holder or co coffee pot holder, but people are using them for shot glass holders. Great idea if you have a shot glass collection. Um, I'm not seeing anything like that really catches my eye in this booth. And there's no percentage off, so on to the next. Oh. Snap, crackle, and pop. Or I guess pop, 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 snap and crackle. <laughs> there's more pops than anybody. Um, there's just some cute things in here. Oh yeah, I sold one like him one time. 
Oh, look at all these stoneware pottery pitchers and mugs. Oh, that's a interesting owl, isn't it? Wow. That's a very cool, I don't know, some type of a glass. And then a lot of crockery. What are these? Cast iron Amish couple bookends. $60. This kind of a neat lamp for $20, don't you think? I, have, I like it. Ooh, look at that, 50% off. I like this also because it like, um, as soon as I came towards, it must have a motion lamp and it just like turned the lights on, which is kind of nice. Those seagulls were so popular in the 70s. Look at that orange tiki cup. Um, I might check a few things out here, but nothing that I really have to have. Okay, 75% off, which probably means I'm not gonna find anything. So far, nothing. And you know, jewelry is just really not my thing. I'm sure that some of you guys could find some stuff here, but just not really seeing anything. You guys, look at this Ellie Smith bittersweet fruit bowl, $37.50. I'm looking it up because that bittersweet stuff can really sell. I didn't catch this, but this one is 50% off too. And do you see these vases? I am almost 100% certain they are McCoy it says it says model vase but I'm almost certain they're brush McCoy and it half off at ten dollars a piece that's a amazing deal so I'm gonna pick these up I wasn't gonna buy much today but I'm finding too much good stuff I like this I like this store it's great okay this is another 50% off booth and it looks like old stuff That's pretty. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at this. I am almost certain. Oh, but it looks like it's been repaired. Has it? I have that pink one like this that's worth a lot of money. San Diego, 1937. I wonder if it was like the fair, World's Fair or something. Oh, Roseville. Oh. How much is this for? 45, but at half price. This might be worth it. There are some nice things. Oh, look at that bride's basket. 380. $40 for this, which I think is Blanco. Just don't want to ship that. 
What is this? Mirror vanity tray. Vanity trays can do pretty well and it's only $6. It's, it's nice. Oh my. Okay, let's just keep looking in here. It's a pair of bookends. I do like bookends, but I don't like those. It's weird. These are like bookend planters. Rose Lane. I think those are kind of cute. And they were cheap. $12 for the pair. The string holder, 125. The string would come right out of there. There are nice things in here. Look at that lamp. Oh, I like it. I like it. There's so much to look in. I'm gonna get home really late tonight, and I didn't mean to. Oh, look at that. That's a nice old light fixture. $40. Chicken of the Sea tuna plate, ten dollars. Now that's something I've never seen. I bet it's Francis skin Ivy. Hey, that's pretty neat. Cool. What is this? Those are pretty cool too. You know what? I mean, that's mid century modern for sure. It just has a number on it. It's really fine china. I like it though. It's kind of like a geometric pattern. What is this? Zanesville Art Pottery. I like I like it, but I don't know much about it. Okay. Well, I just bought one of those. about some weird clowns for $78 a piece. No, thank you. Don't want them anyway. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna do some look in here. I was up uh, north taking care of my granddaughter for a couple of days and on the day I was driving home I stopped in um, well actually I was staying in Fargo so I went to a couple of thrift stores in Fargo um, I don't think it's a surprise to anybody that does this for a living or even just does it for themselves that thrift stores have gotten more expensive and I'm not I'm not sure why 
I still really like the Boys and Girls uh, Ranch thrift stores up in Fargo. They did shut the outlet store down, but um, I went through that, as you see on the video. And then I also stopped at the New Life. Both of these are huge thrift stores, and I still think their prices are amazing if you're buying for yourself. But I was having a hard time finding anything that I was going to make, you know, very much profit on. The only thing I picked up was at the Boys and Girls Club. Um, I picked up, ooh, just a moment. A methadone. These can sell really well. I paid $12.50 for it. I am not sure, $12.99, I guess. Um, I am not sure how much I can get for it yet. Some of them go for a lot of money and then others don't. So yes, I still like it. It works fine. It's in great condition. So what did I find in Watertown? I found a lot of stuff. The first store I stopped at um, hadn't been here before. It was called GSI Thrift and it is a charity thrift store for the local um, Lutheran parochial school. Uh, it also said that they do um, other charity places to give some of their money for, to, excuse me, but um, mostly it goes to the Lutheran school there in Watertown. It's a pretty big store and it's really nicely arranged, very friendly people. One of the first things I found was this probably 1970s yellow enamel teapot. It's in amazing condition. It has some vegetables and mushrooms around it. I paid $4 for it. I also picked up this cute little pixie with a mushroom trinket uh, dish. I think I paid $3 for this and I think it will go for around 30. I always pick up like folk arty things from other countries. This is from Norway. I believe it was used as a pencil holder and that's probably what I will list it as, but only $1.50 and should be able to get 25 for this. Especially with all of the, the Scandinavian ancestors around this area anyway, um, I find that Scandinavian things do sell pretty well. I paid $3, yes, $3 for this little life um, guard troll. I just love that his little nose has got the sunscreen on it. I've seen these listed for around $30, $35. I also picked up, these are made in Japan and I just noticed that the minister, his uh, Bible is got a chip on it or half of it actually is kind of like missing, but I'm still gonna sell them at a, as a set. I paid $12 for these. So here's the minister. And then here's the bride and the groom that kind of hold hands. These two are, I, I see no damage on. I paid $12 for all three of them. They are listed together, you know, around that $50 range. And then the best thing that I bought and she actually, we bargained a little bit. So I ended up paying, I think, $115 for this. But it is a very large, and I'm trying to be as careful as I can, Fenton Emerald Crest Epern. Isn't it gorgeous? I see these listed for around $300 on the internet. And when you can pick it up for $115, that's going to be a good profit. Right across the street from the GSI store, there was a brand new store that had just opened like within the uh, last week or two, and it was called You Never Know. Um, I don't think I got a, a picture of the sign out front, but it's a cute little shop. Like I said, they're just getting started. A lot of their items were new, like they'd bought pallets. You know, a lot of people are doing that now. So there is a wide variety of items in there. It's also a room full of, um, vintage sporting items, um, which I don't get into because I'm just not into sports. I don't know anything about it. But I did pick this up for $10 and I love it. I do need to find the percolator top for it. 
the cord is gone too, but those are easy to find. But I love the design of this chrome plated coffee urn. Um, I guess I never did. Ooh, that's stuck, but I can. Anyways, I'll figure it out. I don't know how. Oh, you just turn it, I think. Anyways, um, it's the, the coffee urn percolator and then also the cream and the sugar. It's got a very art deco look to it. I'm not sure how old it is. I would say 1950s, but it could be earlier than that. So $10 for all of it. I'm probably gonna have to invest another $10 in it to get it uh, working. Um, but they do go for about 75. So I'll make money on it. And it's a cute shop. Uh, they had the most amazing mid-century modern um, coffee table and two end tables in there. And they only wanted $150 for them. They were gorgeous. Um, I think in any other shop, like a more high-end shop, they would easily be in that six or $700 range because they were really nice. And then the last place I stopped was at Peddler's Market, which is an antique mall, but they too had a wide variety of booths. I tried to hit all the booths that had like percentage offs. Um, and there were quite a few. And they had some really, really nice stuff in there. So here's what I picked up at Peddler's Market. I have always been a lover of chenille. I just think it is so vintage looking, so country cottagey looking. I found this baby blanket, I hope you can see. And it has this adorable uh, horse on it done in the pinks and blues. It is so cute. I only paid $15 for this. And I think I can easily get probably 50 to $60 on it. And of course shipping is easy. Also picked up this, um, it's cast iron and enamel, a very old toothbrush holder. So you'd put your, I mean, it would mount to the wall and then you put your water glass here and toothbrushes could hang around the bottom rim. I paid $4 for this. Haven't really looked into this. Not sure how much I can sell it for, but I think easily probably around $40. So this is a mechanical bottle stopper. I believe it's made by Henri from Germany, that company but he is mechanical. So if you look, when you, he drinks from his bottle. I paid $7.50 for this. This wasn't a half price booth and I think I can get $45 for him. I also found, gosh, and I don't remember, oh, $14. I, I can't say for sure it's Fenton. I gotta do some more research, but it's stretch glass which is a process of when they blow the, blow the glass and then they pull the glass up. So it stretches and gives you a texture looking, almost iridescent design, but it's the council bowl and then the two matching candlestick holders. $14 for the entire set and should be able, I, I'm not sure, probably 85. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm not sure if it's Fenton or if it's Tiffin. That's another glass company that did that. And then guys, if you ever see modern, probably this is from the sixties, but it's a salad set. It's four of these bowls. Of course the big salad bowls. And it also has the salad tongs. I paid 1250 for this but it's made in Denmark. So any of this modernistic stuff that's made in Denmark really does sell well. And this is like that Melmac. So this is a good deal. I see these listed for 75 or $85. I also picked up this Salt Glaze Bear. I love him. I think he's so cool. And it's a Broughton Brothers Bear. I'm not, I'm, not familiar with that pottery company, but I paid $9 for him. He also was in a half price booth. And then I saw the Bittersweet, it's Ellie Smith Bittersweet Compo Bowl. 
I probably overpaid for this. I paid $37.50. I think they, I think it will sell for around $60, $65. It's just that this bittersweet color is very popular right now. And I didn't have any signal in that store. You know, usually I'll look things up, but I just couldn't get a signal on my cell phone. Um, I'm not going to lose money. Let's, let's just say that. Probably just not going to make as much as I wanted. And then last, but not least, I, this was in a half price booth too. And these are Brush McCoy. It's called Modeled Green Glossy Glaze. Brush McCoy is actually older than regular McCoy. It's the company's name before McCoy took over completely. Um, these were $10 and I got two of this size, $10 each. Each of these should go for $60, $65. And again, the same with this one, even though it's smaller, also $10. The peddler's market, like I said, they had a lot of sale booths. And when you're a reseller, that's what you're gonna look for. Now, talking about Watertown, South Dakota, I was unaware of how many thrift stores and antique stores they have there. You could literally spend a whole day thrifting in, in Watertown. Um, there is one place called Angel's Attic that I didn't get to because it was getting late, things were closing up, um, but that's a really good thrift store too in Watertown. And like I said, I didn't hit the other ones that I um, had looked up. So if you want a day trip and you live in South Dakota, head to Watertown. There's also the Terry Redland Museum there, which is amazing to go through. Um, it's, you know, all of his original artwork and um, even though I'm not like this huge art critic or anything like that, you, it just, it surprises me when you see an original painting by a famous artist, how it almost just like comes to life. So yes, I loved Watertown's thrift stores and I'd highly recommend if you're a thrifter or a junker or a whatever to head there. So all for now and we'll see you on my next trip. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Bye.